ஆழ்வார் எம்பெருமானார் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் இனவ ஸ்ரீ வைஷ்ணவ குரு பரம்பரை ஆழவந்தார் இஸ் அ வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஆச்சாரியா ஹி இஸ் ஆல்சோ நோன் அஸ் யாமன் ஆச்சாரியா பாப்பதர்லி லெட் அஸ் என்ஜாய் ஹிஸ் லைஃப் அண்ட் குளோரிஸ் நவ் ஹி வாஸ் பார்ன் இன் காட்டு மன்னார் கோயில் விச் இஸ் ஆல்சோ நோன் அஸ் வீர நாராயணபுரம் He was born on Adi Uttradam. He was born as the son of Ishwara Muni. Ishwara Muni is the son of Sreman Natha Muni. When he was born, he was named Yamunai Thureva. Yamunai Thureva means Krishna, one who lived on the banks of river Yamuna. as shriman natha munigal served in the northern part of bharata desham specifically near mathura and vrindavan he had specific attachment for krishna and he foretold the appearance of his grandson and wanted him to be named as yamunai thureva even as a child he was most intelligent all the samskaras were done at the proper ages for him he started learning basic vedanta vyakarana tarka mimamsa and all of that under mahabashya bhattar during that time the main pandit the raja prohita of the king's court of that region akial one who was very prideful sent his representatives to all the pandits and asked them to pay taxes yamuni thureva who was studying under mahabashya bhattar received that message and he immediately sent back a message to akial one saying he will destroy the poets who look for cheap publicity seeing this akial one becomes very angry and sends his soldiers to bring yamuni thureva to the king's court yamuni thureva tells the soldiers that as he is a pandit himself he should be invited in the proper way with proper honor only then he will come to the court the soldiers come back and tell this to the king and the king understands that yamunai thureva is also a learned person so sends a palanquin to bring yamunai thureva to the court Yamunaitreva arrives at the court on this palanquin looking at Yamunaitreva Akialvan becomes amazed because he is too young he shines radiantly Akialvan calls for a debate being very prideful he says whatever yamuni thureva could say he will refute them whatever may be that yamuni thureva accepts the challenge the king and the queen are observing all of these they have a bet between themselves the queen says yamuni thureva will win and if he loses she will become a servant for the king forever 
the king says his own main pundit aki alwan will win and if he fails to win the king will give half the kingdom to yamunai thureva the debate starts yamunai thureva makes three statements and asks aki alwan to refute them first he says aki alwan's mother is a fertile woman second he says the king is all capable leader of the world third he says the queen is a chaste pure woman aki alwan becomes dumbfounded he could not refute any of them he is the son of his mother so he could not refute the first statement which says her mother is a fertile woman in front of the king he could not say that the king is not the leader of the world and in front of the king and the queen he could not say the queen is not a chaste woman yamuni thureva immediately gives explanation for all the three statements he says as per shastram if a lady has only one child she is still considered as sterile only not fertile the king is only leader of the particular region not the whole world so he is not a world leader and the queen is not pure in the sense that when she was married to the king as per the vaidika mantras she was given as an offering to the devas first and then only was given to the king we have to remember that the offering is a mantra based offering which is done for the protection of the girl who is being married in this manner yamuni thureva defeated aki alwan with his ability and intelligence subsequently yamuni thureva explains great principles from shastram and convinces aki alwan that he is a true scholar aki alwan becomes a disciple of yamuni thureva immediately the queen becomes blissful considering yamuni thureva to be her own son he she proclaims yamuni thureva to be alavandar one who came to rule her because he was the one who saved her from becoming a servant of the king she also ends up becoming a disciple of yamuni thureva the king gives half the kingdom as promised to yamuni thureva alavandar and alavandar becomes busy in royal duties forgetting his commitment to our sampradaya it was manakal nambi who mercifully went and reformed alavandar and brought him back to our sampradaya we have already seen this whole incident in manakal nambi's charitram history manakal nambi is the disciple of uyakondar uyakondar is the disciple of nathamunigal as per nathamunigal's desire manakal nambi goes on to reform alavandar initially he did not get access to alavandar because of alavandar's high position he entered the palace went to the kitchen became friendly with the one who cooks food for alavandar every day he brings a particular type of green leaf thooduvalai keerai 
all of them becomes addicted to that kirai suddenly manakal nambi stops bringing the green leaves to alavandar alavandar sends his soldiers to go and locate manakal nambi they bring manakal nambi to alavandar alavandar tells manakal nambi tell me whatever you require i will provide but please continue providing those green leaves for me Manakal Nambi says, I don't want anything from you, but I have a great treasure to hand over to you. Alamanda realizes Manakal Nambi to be saintly. He listens to Manakal Nambi's words. He learns Bhagavad Gita fully from Manakal Nambi. And in the end, Manakal Nambi brings Alamanda to Sri Ranganatha, Periya Perumal. And tells, this is the great fortune. Natha Munigal, your grandfather has left behind for you. Periya Perumal graces his wonderful sight upon Alavandar. Alavandar becomes truly realized. He gives up all his royal duties, immediately accepts Sanyasa Ashramam, becomes a Sanyasi and takes up the responsibility from Manakal Nambi. He learns all our Sampradayam principles from Manakal Nambi. Manakal Nambi decides to ascend to Paramapadam. He instructs Alavandar to go and learn Ashtanga Yoga from Kurugai Kavalappan. We have seen this also from Kurugai Kavalappan's life history. Alavandar goes to Kurugai Kavalappan to learn Ashtanga Yoga. Kurugai Kavalappan tells Alavandar to come towards the end of his life, that is Kurge Kavalapan's life. He fixes a day and asks Alavandar to come on that particular day. But Alavandar ends up being in Tiruvanantapuram to perform Mangala Shasanam, to worship Anantapadmanabha Permal. He realizes he had lost that opportunity to learn Ashtanga Yoga. Manakal Nambi ascends to Paramapadam. After that, Alavandar becomes the leader of our Sampradayam. He leads our Sampradayam to great heights. He establishes a proper institution for our Sampradayam. Many disciples were there for Alavandar. Tirkoshtiyur Nambi, Periya Tirumalai Nambi, Periya Nambi, திருமாலை ஆண்டான் ஆழ்வார் திருவரங்க பெருமாள் அரையர் மாரனேர் நம்பி திருக்கச்சி நம்பி தெய்வவாரி ஆண்டான் ஃபியூ ஆஃப் தெம் ஆலவந்தார் கம்போஸ்ட் பியூட்டிஃபுல் கிரந்தம்ஸ் கீதார்த்த சங்கிரகம் ஸ்தோத்திர ரத்னம் சதுஷ்லோகி ஆகம பிராமணியம் சித்தித்ரயம் ஆர் சம் ஆஃப் இஸ் ஒண்டர்ஃபுல் ஒர்க்ஸ் தீஸ் ஒர்க்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஆலவந்தார் bring together the essence of shastram and the essence of divya prabandham of alvars he was giving very wonderful instructions during his times in sri rangam he highlighted that divya deshams are our life we should be engaging in kaikaryams in divya deshams thinking about bhagavan's auspicious qualities all the time he highlights Tirupa Nalvar, who is situated at the divine feet of Periya Perumal Shri Ranganatha, is our object of worship. He highlights the importance of respecting the devotees of Bhagavan, irrespective of caste, creed, gender and so on. He also highlights that a surrendered person should never worry for his atma yatra as well as deha yatra atma yatra means spiritual progress which is fully dependent on bhagavan the bodily progress is fully dependent on one's own karma punya and papa so one should not worry for that as well this important principle 
is highlighted by all of them. In this manner, while he was conducting the sampradayam from Sri Rangam, he had a concern from Nathamunigal through Uyakondar and Manakal Nambigal. He had learnt that there will be a great Acharya for our sampradayam. He wanted to spot that particular Acharya. He hears about Yalai Alvar who will become Ramanuja. Eventually, Yalai Alvar was in Kanchipuram under the guidance of Tirkachi Nambigal performing Kaikariyams in the temple in Kanchipuram. Tirkachi Nambigal also had greatly instructed Ramanuja about Alavandar. Yalai Alvar wanted to meet Alavandar and become his disciple. He was very eager for that. Alavandar wanted to see Yalai Alvar. He came to Kanchipuram once. In the peripheral areas of the Vardaraja Pramal temple, Yalai Alvar was along with his Guru Yadava Prakasha. Tirkachinambigal brings Alavandar there and shows Ilai Alvar to Alavandar. Alavandar places his merciful glance towards Ilai Alvar, realizes that he is the next Acharya. He goes directly to Vardaraja Pirmal, performs Sharanagati and requests Vardaraja Pirmal to bring Ilai Alvar to our Sampradayam and make him a great Acharya. It was Alavandar's prayers which made wonders. Alavandar goes back to Sri Rangam and stays there. He was sensing the end of his times. He wanted to ascend to Paramapadam. So he immediately sends Periyanambi to go and bring Ilayalvar to Sri Rangam. Periyanambi rushes to Kanchipuram, explains Alavandar's situation to Ilayalvar and brings Ilayalvar to Sri Rangam. But unfortunately, by the time Ilayalvar and Periyanambi reached Sri Rangam, Alavandar had left his divine body and ascended to Paramapadam. Ilayalvar could only see the final divine body of Alavandar. He observed three of the fingers in his hand, in Alavandar's hand was folded. When he meditated upon the situation, he realized Alavandar had three desires. To show our gratefulness to Vyasa and Parashara Rishis to show our gratitude, gratefulness to Namalvar and to have a commentary written for Brahma Sutram. Ilayalvar vowed that he will fulfill all those desires and those three fingers immediately stretched out. Everyone observed this and became blissful realizing that Ilayalvar is the chosen Acharya after Alavandar. Ilai Alvar goes on to become a disciple of Periyanambi and subsequently accepts Sanyasa Ashrama and arrives at Sri Rangam to bring our Sampradayam to great heights. Alavandar's divine body was properly preserved as per Sanyasa Ashrama rules. His final rites were greatly celebrated, conducted by all his disciples. In this manner, Anavandar, who is also known as Yamanacharya, greatly contributed for our Sampradayam. He was the dear grandson of Sriman Nathamunigal. 
he was also greatly honored and respected by Elayalva Ramanujar himself. In this manner, we have enjoyed the life and glories of Alavantar today. Alvar Emberumana GR Thiruvadi Gadesharanam GR Thiruvadi Gadesharanam Please download our Koil K-O-Y-I-L app from Google Play Store or Apple App Store to listen to or download Upanyasans like these. Our website portal is koil.org koil.org